What is a case control study? It's when we find a group of people with a disease of interest called cases, and then find a group of people who are disease-free, but are similar to the cases, called controls. For example, our cases might be unplanned admissions to hospital, and our controls might be people who came to hospital around the same time for elective surgery. Next, we go back in time to discover their past exposure. So we might find that our cases had a recent lifestyle that was unhealthy, whereas our controls were more clean living. This is retrospective data collection, which makes it prone to recall bias. Another case control design might be to compare deaths with our hospital controls. In this case, we obviously can't ask the cases any questions about their recent behaviour, so we'd have to rely on routinely collected data, perhaps from their most recent hospital visit. As an example, we recently examined stillbirths in Brisbane. We found four controls for each stillbirth using babies who were born alive. All the data came from the same birth registry. Among the cases, there was a higher rate of smoking, 23% compared with 17% in the controls. Hence, we can see that smoking was associated with an increased risk of stillbirth, and we can express this using the odds ratio. The key thing to think about when designing a case control study is that the controls are comparable as possible to the cases, except for the disease of interest. In the stillbirth study, we did this by using data from the same birth registry. Case control studies are often based on twins or siblings, because we then have very similar groups apart from some exposure of interest. For example, perhaps one twin exercises more than the other. In the spirit of choosing controls that are as similar to cases as possible, then who better but the cases themselves? This is the principle of a case crossover study. Our example patient exposed themselves to yoga, and a day later nothing happened. A week later they exposed themselves to TV, and the next day they had a heart attack. If this pattern were repeated in many subjects, it would indicate that sedentary behaviours lead to heart attacks. Case crossover studies are ideal for studying exposures that change quickly, but are still clearly subject to recall bias.